see me. I did my son's the JD game, so now I, I, watch, I got to play security. But I watched most of the video while being That was fun.
Here's Pajerski in Winger's jersey. Up high, it's Adrian Sokol. Now to his brother Adam Sokol to the blue paint area. Davidson was there, but it comes outside the zone. Just getting started here at the O'Grady Cup Tournament. Here in Wilmette, Illinois. Packed schedule of games here at Centennial and Heartland today and tomorrow for the varsity division of this tournament. Of course, Nutria Blue and York still playing right now. We're still trying to get access to that score so we can report it to you fine people. But GBS here, we can confirm that it is a 3-0 scoreline for the Titans right now. And three minutes to go. If Pavich was going to be pulled, now would be the time. So it doesn't look like it. Eight to three win for Loyola earlier today against the uh, OPRF Huskies, former SHL participants. GBN with a seven to one win. And there you have it. Nutria Blue and York are tied up at one apiece in the third period. So there you go. Nutria Blue knows what they're doing. That is a great team in York. And a little commotion here between Breyer and Callahan that the linesman gets in there for. I forgot to hook up the microphone, so your, your comment about the switch and the breeze. Say it again. So uh, sounds like we had a little bit of an audio glitch there. So I will repeat what I said again, is that we're sorry that the radio broadcast is not operating right now. It is only the Twitch broadcast for those of you who are audio preferred listeners. A little bit of a technical glitch on that side of things, but the radio broadcast is projected to be back up and running to, or to, for tonight's game as well. So. Gerard Boris, who of course is filming this game and films all the games, will be in Evanston tonight at 5 to broadcast a JV game for the Titans. So he will be a little bit late to American Heartland Ice Arena, but does plan on being there. So make sure you are tuned into the radio broadcast if you don't want to miss the first 10, 15 minutes of that one. And of course, on the radio broadcast, I will mention when it is time for you to go over to Twitch and watch the game instead of just listen to it. So how about that? York and New True Blue all tied up at one. If that game goes into overtime, that actually benefits the Titans a lot because then they would sit on top of this group with three points and the winner of that game would only have two. And of course, York is probably the team that is GBS's biggest threat to take this group away from them. So if you're a Titan fan, you might hope for a neutral blue win right now. Still one to one. Freema trying to get around Ben Schwartz. He cannot. Providence gets it out to neutral. Just wrapping up here at Wilmette. Centennial Ice Rink. GBS on their way to another shutout. If I'm not mistaken, folks, I believe this will be the Titans' 10th shutout of the season if they can hold on for one more minute. Here's a centering pass, Pajerski. Then on the rebound, Adam Sokol gets stopped by Pavic. Maybe his best save of the night, or one of them. And 50 seconds remaining. Eli Kamens faced 18 shots through two periods. Cannot confirm at this current moment how many shots he's got in the third. Of course, we've got it on your screen, which I cannot see. Is Wendy Freemuth keeping them by hand. And now we've got an empty net on a delayed penalty. Winger will head to the bench here. Pardon me, Kamens. And now it's Pajerski with the puck. And finally, the whistle sounds. So, 
I mentioned earlier, GBS has not had a power play in this game. They are about to get one with 21 seconds to go in the hockey game. So they will play the rest of this with a man up as Bruno Hansel will have a seat in the penalty box for the remainder. We'll drop the puck at the right circle of the attacking zone for Glenbrook South. And Stevens, who scored the first goal in this game, which is going to be the game winner, will take the face off. It goes all the way down to Glenbrook South zone, but the Titans, after zero regulation wins in four games last season at the O'Grady Cup, will start things off on the right foot. They'll win three to nothing here in Wilmette over the Providence Catholic Celtics, and they will look to continue their hot streak tonight against New True Blue in Lincolnwood. And the teams will line up to shake hands at center ice. And for the second time this season, it is the Titans three and the Celtics zero. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Twitch, GBS Titans Hockey. Of course, produced by Gerard Boris over there on camera. My name is Dylan Ward saying thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Make sure you're right back here tonight, 7 p.m. puck drop. If you're going to go to the game, it's at Heartland Ice Arena in Lincolnwood. Of course, the home ice of Loyola Gold, GBS's first game at that rink this season. We will see you there. It'll be me and my friend Lucas Oyarzun joining me for color. And, of course, Casey Crable gets color tomorrow night. See you there. Have a great rest of your day until then.